good evening class today we are going to look at uh, the characteristics of uh, tax auditors there are some characteristics that uh, tax auditors must possess some features that that tax auditors must have before you conduct uh, the tax audit one tax auditors must uh, have good knowledge of tax law tax laws must have good knowledge of tax laws then number two is must have good knowledge of company's law company law like uh, karma insurance act banking act and the rest tax auditor must have good knowledge of this number three and uh, tax uh, auditors must be patient Number four, must be honest. Five, tax auditors must not be biased. Tax auditors must not be biased. Then tax auditor must be analytical. Must be analytical. And uh, tax auditor must uh, have uh, IT knowledge. IT must be IT compliant. And uh, these are some of the characteristics of uh, tax auditors. Then we are going to now look at uh, the legal framework legal framework uh, for tax auditors Ta legal okay, sorry. legal frame work for tax audits legal framework the relevant uh, legislation that regulates the imposition, assessment, and collection of revenue in Nigeria. First one, we have the Constitution. Constitution 1999 as amended. Then we have a uh, Kama. Uh, sorry, we have CETA. Is company income tax acts. We have a uh, VAT value added. Sorry, VAT act. That is value added tax acts. Then we have a uh, CGT. CGT. That is. Uh, capital gain tax act we have a uh, petroleum income tax act we have a uh, okay peter it is personal income tax act we have a uh, sde the stamp duties act and we have uh, ifrs Act 20, uh, 2007. So these are some of the regulation legal uh, framework for, for tax audit in Nigeria. And now we are going to look at uh, reasons for tax audit. Why tax audit? The companies or enterprises are usually chosen for tax audit based on uh, some conditions one this is reasons for tax audits reasons for tax audits why tax audits there are we have several assessment
self-assessments. Those that are doing self-assessment, like uh, let's say every large taxpayers and small or medium taxpayers, every three three years, based on available audit resources, they have to conduct audit uh, tax audit on all those uh, companies if the resources are available they have to conduct it after every three three years then number two have a uh, genuine information received from intelligence uh, based on information based on information received from intelligence or other uh, federal revenue service department or external source about the taxpayer it could also be referral from other regulatory agencies like uh, efcc icpc uh, or report claiming cl uh, complaint from external sources like uh, whistleblowers uh, or newspaper reports. All this information can be used to pick uh, a company for tax audits. Number three. Um, then when taxpayer is claiming refund, refund, claim, refund. So when a taxpayer claims a refund, then there is high possibility of conducting uh, tax audits. Then uh, have a, a return showing refund, especially arising from excess with uh, withholding tax or VAT refund. Refund from withholding tax. Refund from withholding tax or VATs. So there is a high tendency of picking this uh, person conductor uh, tax audit. Then five, uh, when there is a, when the tax, tax uh, payer, payer with poor adequacy ratio, poor the adequacy adequacy ratio so this guy will also be peak then uh, uh, when there is a claim under double taxation agreement claims under double taxation agreement so these are some of the reasons that uh, a tax uh, payer will be picked for tax audits. Or well, sometimes, let's say, uh, there is uh, high losses. And uh, there is uh, sometimes a tax payer will like, uh, what will I call it? Then in the next class, we are now going to look at uh, tax investigation. Thank you.